Hi, so this is my first video for my series Dream School. In this series, I'm going to be focusing on informing you all about dreams, sleep, lucid dreaming, etc., etc. I'm going to try to inform you all to the best of my knowledge, but of course I'll be researching along the way and I'm going to try to credit all the places that I get my information from. In this segment, I'm going to be focusing on the stages of sleep. Okay, so there are five stages of sleep. Stage 1, stage 2, stage 3, stage 4, and REM sleep. All stages 1 through 4 that are not REM sleep are referred to as in REM sleep or non REM sleep. So, going through the stages, the first stage is a stage that we experience when we're just getting into bed and closing our eyes. It's very light sleep and it's very easy to wake up. Um, it's not the daydreaming part because you're not actually sleeping then when your mind is like you're thinking about what you're going to do the next day or what you just did or something like that. It's You are slightly asleep. Um, you will notice that you t might twitch out of your sleep or it's when you feel like you might be falling and you wake up like that. Those sort of things will happen in stage one of sleep. Um, stage two is slightly deeper uh, than stage one. The brain waves become a little bit slower, but you still have the occasional bursts of rapid waves, like the ones you have when you're awake. Um, stage three and four are referred to as deep sleep. In stage three, Delta waves are interspersed with smaller and faster waves, unlike stage four, which is mainly only delta waves. And let me explain the waves, the brain waves. Okay, so there are four types of brain waves delta, theta, alpha, and beta. And each type represents a different type of oscillating electrical voltage in your brain. So delta is the slowest and is present in deep sleep, which are stages three and four. Um, theta is present in light sleep, which is stage two, slightly in stage one, but mostly in stage two. Um, alpha occurs while you're in REM sleep, but it also occurs while you are awake, which is very interesting, and I'll get into that later. Um, and beta is when you're in very stressful situations, when you have adrenaline rushes, or when you have panic attacks, or when you really need to focus and concentrate. Okay, so the fifth stage of sleep is REM sleep. Um, basically, your brain produces alpha waves, which are present when you are awake, and you have rapid eye movement, because REM stands for rapid eye movement and you have you also have rapid breathing however the reason why we dream so vividly and we can remember those dreams so well is because our whole body is just sucked up into our head into our brain into our consciousness because our movement is completely paralyzed we can't move while we're sleeping in REM sleep and in stage four you actually, that's when you might experience sleepwalking. In stage two, you have twitches, but in REM sleep, you're actually paralyzed. So that's really weird to think about, but don't get weirded out because you've done it all your life and who cares, like, whatever. Um, and if you wake up during REM sleep, that's when you can remember your dreams most vividly. Like, when your alarm clock goes off and you're like, whoa, where am I? Like, that sort of feeling that's when you want to write your dreams down immediately or record them on your cell phone or find a way to record them or write them down um, because those dreams are the most vivid that we have during REM sleep probably because we have alpha waves during REM sleep and the memories that we have from dreams there are very similar to the memories we have while we're awake okay and we have REM sleep around five times a night. Uh, this dream cycle, it doesn't like, it's not like one, two, three, four, five. It's, we can go back and forth from three to five to two to one, 
it's it's not cynical. It, that's not even a word. <laughs> I don't know. But it basically, like, a lot of times after REM sleep, you'll go into stage two, or you can go in between stage three and four pretty interchangeably. Um, and we have REM sleep a lot more frequent during our later part of sleep rather than right when we go to bed. Um, and that basically concludes my first entry video. This video was put together in like five minutes, um, so I might be skipping around, but basically the stages of sleep are pretty simple and easy to understand. Um, in my next video, I hope to be doing more about REM sleep, um, different theories on it, and dream recall. Thank you for watching, and make sure to subscribe to my Tumblr, which I'll link down here if you're on my YouTube account, but if you are not, you're already subscribed to me on Tumblr, so thank you.